Hey guys, it's Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, this is going to be a quick Cubase tip video. I just want to answer a question I got from Rude asking, another great tutorial, Chris. Looks and sounds so easy when you explain things. Great job. And wow, what a great template you have here. How did you manage this? A gap between the regular channels and the buses? Reminds me of my old Mackie mixer. Now, if you want to achieve this in Cubase, this is very, very simple. First of all, what you need to do, you need to go on the Mix console and make sure the left zone of the console is activated. If you don't see it, just click on the top uh, right side of the mixer, select the uh, left zone, and there you go. Now you're going to have three tabs on top, Visibility, Zones, and History. Click on the Zone tab, and then you'll have all of your tracks listed, okay, on the left side of the mixer. Now, you have like two empty dots here, okay? You need to select, okay, the tracks or the buses, groups or effects that you want them to stay static on one side or the other of the mixer. So if I select, for example, my mix buses, okay? So this is what you were asking about. So I can select my master bus, okay? And make sure it stays static on the right side of the mixer and same for my stereo out and all of my buses here. And now they stay static on the right side of the mix console. Very cool. You can do the same for the left side of the mixer. Just select the other dot right here, okay, the empty circle. And there you go. All the channels that are selected on the left are going to stay static on the left side of the mixer. So there you go. Not that complicated. Very simple. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.